Hello everyone, I'm back. I'm back on YouTube and we're going to start off with a Game Boy Colour. So I've been given this Game Boy Colour by one of my followers on Instagram and he said that it's just not powering on. Um, so yeah, we're going to open it up and see if we can fix it. Okay, so it's got a bit of damage. I don't know if that's from it being posted. You can see some there and there. Something rattling around as well. But, and you can see that it's got some old battery contacts that have got acid corrosion from battery acid. Um, okay, so let's put some batteries in and see if it works. nothing so there's a few things that could be uh, so we're just going to open it up and take a look for this bit we're going to need a tri-wing screwdriver to get into the into the shell then we're going to need a uh, uh, just a regular small screwdriver bit as well you can get tools you get all your repair bits and pieces and modification stuff from Z Labs and if you click the link in my description you get a discount automatic discount applied to your basket so let's get into the Game Boy. Let's take a look. Um, we can see some corrosion and stuff here. So that's obviously been repaired. Some corrosion in the headphone jack as well. Um, and we use the regular drill bit to get the motherboard off. Also I'll pop these off. That's the screen. Okay. So the the battery um, that battery contact's been put on and it's yeah it looks a bit a little bit damaged but it might still work. Um, there's a couple of things to check if your Game Boy Color isn't turning on. There's a fuse there, um, which is labeled F1. So we need to check that first. So we'll check the continuity on that. Um, if that's working okay, then, it's, then it, it may very well. But the, if that's working okay, then we're going to have a look at the power switch. So let's do that first. So to check a fuse, it's really easy. You just set your multimeter to continuity. When it's on continuity, you, when it makes a connection, it beeps. So with a fuse, if it's blown, it won't. You, you, if you press both sides of the fuse, um, you won't get a beep. If it's working, you'll get one. So let's have a look. So yeah, that fuse is fine. So what I'll do now is the power switch here. Sometimes Game Boys don't work properly and don't turn on properly when there is a dodgy switch. And this could just be dirt, a, a dirt build up over time. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna clean it. All you need is some isopropyl and cotton bud. And you just grab yourself a cotton bud, dip it in. And then you just want to get some of that isopropyl in there and then in the other side as well. The whole area are clean all over. And then I like to just wiggle it for a little bit and then that should run the isopropyl through. Have a look at the screen as well. So that's a bit worse for wear. That's been damaged. Yeah, that's been damaged. I don't know when this has happened because 
there's marks there as well in the middle. And there's nothing that you could hit or press against. So, I don't know, maybe whenever this was repaired, there's, it's been damaged or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happened with this old boy, but we'll I'll try and get him to work. Let's see. I'll put him, I'll put it all back together and then we'll see what happens. We'll just put that there. Chuck the batteries in. And then, okay, it's working. I heard some sound as well. Okay, it's a good start. Um, nothing on the screen is what I expected really. Um, so okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the screen out of this one because um, I'm only going to use this for mods anyway so I don't really need the screen I'm going to take the screen out put it in and see if we can get it playable again if you need to get the screen off best thing to do is to just twist it like that. that's the best way to get the screen out of the Game Boy Colour So, it's the moment of truth. I'm just going to put Zelda in. We're on. Nice. Speaker isn't very loud. Um, it will sound a bit louder when it's in the shell. Um, Start working. I can see a bit of corrosion on these, well, a bit of um, gunk on these contacts, so I'm just going to clean those as well. So it's the same again, um, just get isopropyl and a cotton bud. And it's always best to do this when you've got any, any console or pad open anyway. It's just clean the contacts. This one on here. Looks like it's some flux, some flux paste that's got um, burnt. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the front shell on and. Uh, Get the buttons in the right place and then test it properly. I don't really need to put all the screws and stuff on the shell yet. Let's just get it all up and running and test it. And then I can do those bits at the end. Okay. Sound just isn't isn't actually that bad. Right, okay. So up right left end working start B select A is not working though. I think I did get it to work just that just once then. Um, but let's have a look and see if we can get A working again. So I'm going to clean the back of this contact as well, and then yeah, it looks a bit worse for wear. Here we've seen better days. See if we can get a bit of that off the contact there. I'm just going to use a touch of a fine sandpaper and see if I can clean this contact up a little bit. Right, let's 
see. Alright, button's working now. That's a shame. Everything but that A, man. Let's see if... Let's see if there's something else we can do. Just be careful with um, Game Boy screws, especially the ones on the... They go through the motherboard. Um, they just wear away easily. It's just one of those things. So, what I'm going to do now is check, because on each of these contacts here, two of them are ground and two of them are the just the line for that button. So if you see on this board here, I don't know if you can see, it says GND there on that pin, so that's ground. So, we've got ground there on the second and the fourth contact. So one and three there are to go to, is the, is the line for the A button. I've just looked at a schematic as well and I've noticed that it's this one here, um, this exact contact here that the, the line from there to the to um to this button so if i'm not getting anything from here one and three then it means that the trace between these two and that is broken um and forgive me because i haven't really dived in with um game Boy color motherboards very much so i'm going to guess the line is on the back um so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna connect these two contacts up here and then put a single wire up to there to that point and then hopefully we can get that A button working again. So for this I'm only gonna need some really thin wire to be honest. Um so I'll just use that. I just need to get this prepped. I'll just file a little bit of that off there so I can get a good connection and I'm soldiering there you go look okay and now let's get some solder ready on here when you're soldering best thing to do is to heat up what you're soldering onto and then dab the solder onto that the best thing to do okay and then there get rid of that oops there we go and then get this little bit here Probably loads of other methods that people can, that people have done in the past to do this repair, but this is just one that I could come up with. I haven't looked at any other, you know, how other people do it. I'll just come up with a way of doing it myself and see if that works first. Let's get this on now. Okay. Well. This should hopefully work, and this should mean that we get our eye button working again, so let's give it a test. I'm of course going to just double check my continuity first. Should be fine. Yeah, and... Okay, and then we've got ground and ground. So that should work, fingers crossed. Still doesn't work, which is a shame. So I've just checked the continuity that goes from the pads all the way to the CPU and everything seems fine. So I'm just going to really scratch away at, this, at these contacts and see if, see if it's just basically just really bad damage to those. So. Um, I'm going to have to admit defeat today, those pads are beyond repair. I'm going to have to try and get some replacement pads that sit on top and they'll just solder to the same point that, as I did there. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it's just 
those, those are just damaged by repair from the battery corrosion so it's gone right through to the other side so I'm determined to get it sorted hopefully I can get some replacement pads um, and then yeah I'll do a follow up video soon um, and that's it thanks for checking my video out and remember if you want to get some discount on your Z Labs order just click the link in the description the discount automatically applied to your basket thank you and have a good week